I know, I know I just did a haul, um, but lately I've been attracting so much new clothes into my life. I've been manifesting that stuff um, just because I feel like my closet needs a revamp. So I have a bunch of clothes I want to show you guys. I have some stuff from Eggy and some a lot of stuff from Misguided. So let's just get into it. All right, so we're going to start off with this gingham blazer from Eggy. And this is actually a size medium. I'm five foot six, almost five foot six, and 120 pounds. And this blazer is awesome. I tried wearing it as a dress recently the other day, but um, it is quite, it's kind of too short when I wear heels, but um, medium is actually a really good size for an oversized fit. When I went to the Eggy launch, I actually paired this gingham blazer with this black satin-like slip, and it has very thin straps. They're also adjustable, which I really appreciate. And on the sides, they kind of just have this like uh, connected string paralleling down. It's um, three strings, I believe, and it's just a super soft, double-lined quality dress. Also, if you're watching this, Jen, congrats on Eggy and everything that you've accomplished. You are just nothing but a positive role model for me and so many young women, so congrats! Next from Eggy, I picked up the nude tracksuit. So it comes with a nude hoodie and all around the sides it has this kind of racer checker print, which I think is super cool and kind of like a little nice edgy twist to all of the pieces. And it goes in with the gingham blazer as well, so it's a very cohesive collection. And I actually got the matching pants and these are all in a size medium, but I will forewarn you that the pants are very too, they're just too big on me, even when I tie them really tight. Um, they also bunch a little bit at the ankle, which I actually think is supposed to be normal. But um, if I had to, I would size down to a small or extra small. Jen says extra small, but I think I'm a small. So definitely don't go for the medium if you kind of have my physique. But this tracksuit's awesome because it is so comfortable, but stylish at the same time. I can totally see myself wearing this to the airport. Last but not least, we have the naughty plaid gingham. I don't know what you would call it. Uh, culotte set so the top is kind of like a wrap top and you can wrap it around you or you can knot it and then I also got the matching culottes with it and the culottes are actually uh, way too big for me on the waist that's also a medium so definitely size accordingly because I thought I thought I thought it was a medium and everything but I guess not I love this piece it's probably my second favorite piece of the line um, I just think it is very summer appropriate but still work appropriate and you can use um, the pieces in different you know outfits they're very versatile moving on into misguided first up is this knotted off the shoulder kind of crop top I feel like RUMI and Kendall Jenner kind of put this type of uh, crop top on the map and what I particularly like about this one is that it actually comes knotted so it looks like I knotted it myself very thin and kind of ribbed material it's super lightweight but surprisingly it stays put on your chest and I have a very small chest I wear a lot of graphic t-shirts when I'm kind of off duty not that I'm a model or anything but I wear a lot of shirts when I'm just chilling at home going to the grocery store the post office so I've been meaning to get some more graphic t-shirts or like logo t-shirts and I picked up this one it just says honey in a serif font and I think that's Serif, right <laughs> but it's a serif font and it's all red and it kind of just reminded me of one of my favorite Haim songs honey honey I'm gonna play it Anyways, so it reminded me of that. This next top is my top that I feel like is my dumpling top. And it's my it's my dumpling top because I feel like um, the top of it is ribboned like the way um, my mom used to make dumplings, like the little ribbons at the top. Anyways, but it's made out of this kind of like scuba neoprene-like material. It's very stiff and it has a lot of structure and form to it, even though it's strapless or like a tube top. And I think this top could actually look super editorial or high end if styled the right way, which I'm very excited to do. This next blouse is also very high-end or editorial to me, and this is just a white long-sleeved, um, I call it my cake top because it has a lot of tears and a lot of layers and it also reminds me of Benjamin Franklin or George Washington I don't know maybe I have a very crazy imagination but um, it just looks very uh, chic to me and sophisticated and it's a piece that I really have never styled before the last top I got is a very summer appropriate top and I actually wore it to this rooftop event with my friends Fong and Yannin and it's a beautiful top it's off the shoulder and it kind of just um, 
um, drapes separately. So there's one drape on your arm and then a drape around the chest and then another drape around the other arm. And this is quite flattering for someone who has like boxy shoulders just because the band that goes straight across can kind of look very um, over masculine. Not that masculinity is a bad thing. I got broad shoulders because I used to swim um, all the time. Like I was on the swim team or almost on the swim team. Um, so I think this type of top is really complimentary for those of us with broad shoulders. I also feel like tops like this are always usually white so I got it in black to kind of just juxtapose the really summery uh, free-flowing vibe of it. <laughs> Moving on into outerwear I picked up this gray plaid oversized it's like a very super long coat and it's actually quite thin in material and so I feel like it's a very lightweight good layering piece so you want to layer with it. Um, I don't think it would be suitable for those of you with a very harsh or very cold winters um, but it's a perfect material for someone like me who has like a 65 degree Fahrenheit winter which is not cold at all I think that's like an English summer I absolutely love this blazer this is a champagne with gold buttons type of boxy blazer it has shoulder pads inside and I wore this to BeautyCon with just a lace bra and some high-waisted jeans it was a look if I do say so myself but um, I've worn this a lot of times on my Instagram which I will put up here and it can look very girl bossy I feel like well all these photos do um, but this is probably one of my favorite pieces that I picked up in this haul because it just looks so luxe and vintage all at the same time the last piece of outerwear contrasts greatly from the last piece of outerwear I just showed you um, but this is a faux suede yellow cropped kind of jacket and I say kind of a lot, but whatever. Anyways, um, it's very casual, but also to me very structured at the same time. I really love the color. The yellow is unlike anything I have in my closet because I don't have anything yellow. I lied. This is my last piece of outerwear. So I actually picked up this pink and black robe and it's a bathrobe. It was in the intimate section and I don't really check that well. I don't really have a keen eye when I'm shopping online. Line, and I think this is a huge example or uh, testament to that because when I got this piece I looked at the back of it and I was like what is this I guess I am getting married or my friend is getting married because it says bride squad so now I'm just gonna walk around the house with bride squad on my back which is totally fine because this you know robe was just meant for being at home so I still think it's a really cute robe I'm gonna wear it all the time um, but I just thought it was funny I had to show you guys a few skirts. The first is this faux leather bodycon high waisted black rivetted. Oh my god, that's a lot of adjectives. Um, on the side, it's kind of um, what is that called? It's like crisscross. I, I'm really drawing a blank right now, um, but this is what it looks like. I feel like this would transition well into nighttime as well with some pumps and maybe like a tighter top. So I, I don't know. I just really like this style. You guys know I have some crazy red latex pants from Topshop. So I decided to, I don't know, up the ante a little bit and just get some red latex skirts. Well, I just got one and I got this one in particular and um, it's, it's very Britney Spears, oops, I did it again, but uh, I'm not opposed to that aesthetic. So, and it's actually quite comfortable, except I do not want to ever sweat in it, even though that's quite inevitable. <laughs> this is a skirt or a style of top skirt that I've been seeing a lot by the brand Orsian Iris. I hope I'm pronouncing that right. And this is a brand that Bella Hadid wears a lot. And it's just a brand that I follow on Instagram and would love to own a piece someday. So this is a skirt that's kind of ripping off the design, um, but it's just a denim. Uh, high-waisted kind of like mid-length skirt and it has boob cutouts it so I think someone on Twitter said this but it reminds them of the Regina George boob cutout um, but I'm, I'm I'm a good mean girls fan so that doesn't bother me at all it's a super unique and eye-catching piece so it's a little bit of a challenge for me to style but I'm really excited to do it so that is the end of my haul it's a very very long one I hope you guys enjoyed watching and be sure to check down below for the links so you can shop everything because I do spend quite a few you know minutes slash hours on that so I hope you find some use out of it but if not I will see you guys in my next one and bye